Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III motivates us and encourages us to simply just pray for the glory of God. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in over 25 foreign countries. He is the president of Gospel Light Society and Torch Ministries International. Now here's your host, Daniel White III. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Prayer Motivator Devotional Broadcast number 543. As always, it is so good to be with you today to encourage you to pray. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled Talking to God by Emily McAdams. We need to talk to God each day. We do this best through prayer. He's waiting for our call to him no matter when or where. We can pray in early morning, we can pray to him at night, but we need to set aside a time to keep him in our sight. We can tell him all our worries, we can tell him all our woes, we can confess all our sins to him, though he already knows. When we are heavy laden and don't know what to do, let's take his yoke upon us and he will see us through. He's there to help us bear our load. He always knows what's best. His yoke is easy, his burden light. He can put our souls at rest. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator passage from the Word of God today is Numbers 11, 11 uh, through 14, which reads, And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight, that thou layest the burden of all this people upon me? Have I conceived all this people? Have I begotten them that thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom as a nursing father, beareth the sucking child unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers? Whence should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. I am not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to share with you some important points regarding this verse from Matthew Henry's commentary. Moses himself, though so meek and good a man, is uneasy upon this occasion. Moses also was displeased. Now, it must be confessed that the provocation was very great. These murmurings of theirs reflected great dishonor upon God and Moses. And Moses laid to heart the reproaches cast on himself. They knew that he did his utmost for their good and that uh, he neither did nor could do anything without a divine appointment. And yet to be thus continually teased and clamored against by an unreasonable, ungrateful people would break in upon the temper even of Moses himself. God considered this, and therefore we do not find that he chided him for his uneasiness. Yet Moses expressed himself otherwise than uh, became him upon his provocation and came short of his duty both to God and Israel in these expostulations. Ladies and gentlemen, we will continue 
reading this commentary on this passage in our next broadcast, If the Lord Tarries is Coming and We Live. Our prayer motivator quote today is from R.A. Torrey. He said, We sometimes fear to bring our troubles to God because they must seem small to him who sitteth on the circle of the earth. But if they are large enough to vex and endanger our welfare, they are large enough to touch his heart of love. I say amen to that. Beloved, my personal encouragement for you today is this. You will never find time to pray. You must choose to make time to pray. It is that important. The devil will try to keep you back from praying by bringing things to your mind that you may need to do, but that can wait until later to be done. Uh, don't let the devil talk you out of praying to God. Our prayer motivator devotional today, ladies and gentlemen, is titled, Ask of Me, from E.M. Bounds. More praying, he goes on to say, and better is the secret of the whole matter. More time for prayer, more relish and preparation to meet God, to commune with God through Christ. This has in it the whole of the matter. Our manner and matter of praying ill becomes us. The attitude and relationship of God and the Son are the eternal relationship of Father and Son, of asking and giving, the Son always asking, the Father always giving. Ask of me and I will give thee the nations for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Jesus is to be always praying through his people, and men shall pray for him continually. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for my people's. We must prepare ourselves to pray, to be like Christ, to pray like Christ. Now, dear friend, it is time for us to pray. Please remember the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. Please join me in prayer right now. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for what you are doing in the world. We thank you for your long suffering with us. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy and your love. Lord, we individually stand before your throne of grace today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please asking you, Lord, to please forgive us of our sins, our failures, and our faults. Whatever they might be in our lives, Lord, you know the needs of your people. Crucify, Lord, our flesh and fill us with the fullness and the power of your Holy Spirit. Teach us, Lord, your Holy Word. Truly lead us, guide us, and direct us in the path and in the way that you'll have us to go. Lord, today and every day, and Lord, we pray specifically and we pray together based upon this prayer list that we have uh, to keep us on track and to be specific in our prayers. Lord, we pray for three million people to come to know you as Savior uh, through this ministry alone. We pray for the revival of your church. We pray for the healing of your families. We pray for the healing of this nation. We pray, Lord, for your blessings and guidance for all pastors and church leaders and evangelists and missionaries and deacons all around the world. Bless every local church that loves you and that fears you. Lord, we pray for the salvation, leadership, wisdom, guidance and direction for the president and for all governmental officials who run this country and all other countries. Now, Lord, we pray for three people who have sent in prayer requests. 
uh, through our uh, to our ministry here at Gospel Light Society. We pray for Chandra. Help her to have total faith in you for everything. We pray for Elizabeth. Give her children work. We pray for Sylvia. Give her a job and meet all of her needs. Help her in paying her rent and bills. Holy Father God, we pray for the following people who have trusted you as Savior in their hearts. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, confirm them in the faith and have them to grow in the faith to become the spirit-filled Christians that you want them to be. We pray specifically, Lord, for Ines in Phoenix, Arizona, Chris Indra in India, Sylvia in Honduras. Now, Lord, we pray for the following people uh, who have uh, been saved for a while, but who have recommitted their lives to you. And uh, we pray that you would uh, help them to keep their commitments to you. And those who have gotten saved recently, we pray that you would help them to find a good Bible-believing church as well as these. Lord, we pray specifically for Laura in Huntsville, Texas, Banzol in India, and Shigosi in Nigeria. Lord, we commit all of these dear souls and their families into your hands. Let your will be done in their lives. Rebuke and bind the devil and his demons and his hosts, Lord, from them. And help them to grow and to uh, get into good Bible-believing churches. In Jesus Christ, the name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Dear friend, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, the first prayer you need to pray is what we call the sinner's prayer. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today, and he will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember, pray, think, do. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. If you would like for us to pray for you, please send your prayer request to gls at gospellightsociety.com. If you have questions about salvation, what to do after salvation, or looking for a good church home, or would like to read our pamphlet, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door, please visit gospellightsociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on gospellightworldradio.com, Live 365, bcnnradio7.com, and on our Spanish station, evangeliolasmundoradio.com. It can also be downloaded on your iPhone, BlackBerry, Android, or other mobile device from iTunes, Google Play, BlackBerry Podcast, and other outlets. Tell your friends and family to tune in and discover the power of prayer. Now here's a song that will encourage you to pray. God bless.